Sometimes the, the term influence can be misconstrued. You, you gave yourself maybe a little bit more freedom in, uh, in, 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 in experimenting with new sounds, but at what moment do you have to say, stop, now we're going too far? <laughs> That's th interesting. <laughs> yeah, no. I think that's it's. I think if it's one person, it's harder to. They, that's why a lot of times people who make you know one person bands, they they can make that record for twenty you know years. You hear about those you know legendary records being made. For us, I think you you know you have you have a group. You have you know you have each one of us kind of keeping the other one in check a little bit and. And that's why I do think actually being in the studio, having deadlines, timelines is a healthy thing. You know, you should figure out how to say what you, you know, get, get out from the song what you want to say within a certain amount of time. Um, if not, yeah, you can keep making the record. You can keep making it better and better and better. But I don't know if more time means better always, you know. Mm -hmm. I think some, you know, I wouldn't change a thing from our first record. It didn't cost us, you know, we didn't get to spend very much money to make it. We had to make it really quickly, but I mean, you know, it's that's what it was. That's what we were giving, and there's something very special about that. So I personally, I think timelines. Even if when I'm going through the deadlines, you know, they kill me because you're like, ah, this is art. You know, I don't know. I need more time. But I think there's something healthy about that. Making decisions. You know, hopefully you make the right one. Accepting decisions that you make. And if it's really didn't work out that decision, you know, you can go back and be like, let's make it right. You know. But ultimately, I think it's good to work within certain, you know, rules like that. Yeah, I think it's it keeps the you know that snapshot of time, you know, it keeps it honest, keeps it what it is. You know, I, I think you know, we've been making records for almost ten years. I, I think we know how to do that, and you you got to trust yourself a little bit to know when you're kind of stretching things too far out of proportion to where you know the initial sentiment you're trying to you know convey or or musical message or whatever is going to be blown out of proportion. You know, so that's why the element of time is, you know, you got to keep that in mind. And like Daniel was saying, you know, it's not one man guiding the whole thing. You know, it's like, it's, it's four very strong-willed individuals, yeah. which at the end of the day, you know, it, it works, you know. What, what is the snapshot of this new album, do you think? Well, it, it is the work itself. I mean, I think it's a product of, you know, what Daniel just said, you know, kind of being more open to different instrumentation, you know, especially in, in the world of keyboards. Um, I think there is a, a different ap approach rhythmically with the bass and drums on this record. I mean, you know, there is that thing that Carlos and I do, you know, but I think we kind of stretch that a little bit and you know, towards the end of the record, you know, things are not as, you know, rock heavy and, you know, with big heavy drums. Um, and I think it's pretty interesting to kind of let, you know, the melody breathe a little more, you know, and not, you know, could have easily filled it up with, you know, a bunch of heavy drumming. But I think we all felt that it would be more interesting, you know, and it says something that it really adds a different connotation to to what the melody is trying to um, express. So, I mean, I think there's quite a few different snapshots mm. on, on this that were captured that are, or, that are very, you know, as honest as can be. Yeah, so if you're looking back to maybe your uh, first three albums, uh, you were telling about this snapshot as being a musical one, but uh, if you can, you can, if you look at your previous three albums now, and if you could uh, describe a snapshot of that, is it also only a musical snapshot or maybe also a snapshot full of memories of things that have happened? Well, I think, yeah, there's a lot involved. I mean, you know, I came into the band two years after the band was formed. And so obviously, uh, I think about four of the songs on Bright Lights were already being played for a couple years or over a year. And, you know, that record, that first record is very much documenting what the band was at that time. You know, the band went into the studio and, and did what it knew. You know, it did, it, it expressed, you know, the life it had lived up until that point. And then with Antics, you know, there's a little more confidence. We had a little more time, you know, embellished a little more uh, with keyboards and stuff. But, you know, we were kind of staying within our boundaries, you know what I mean? I think wisely so, and not moving out of our comfort zone. I think with the third record, that comfort zone got pushed a lot further. And, you know, I think possibly we, not going out on a limb, you know, I don't think we were doing anything blindly, 
but um, again, you know, I experience kind of informs where you can go. And and by the time we got to this record, I think there was a um, a great sense of ease and comfort, which influenced this record. I think, and it was really easy to be deliberate. You know, when Daniel would express an idea, Daniel and I work very closely together, usually at the beginning of, of our writing process. You know, um, I think a lot of things that we express to each other, you know, really didn't take a lot of words. You know, we kind of were able to, you know, kind of convey it verbally and then more importantly, kind of execute it, you know, musically. And I think it's just, you know, it's a, it's, it's all comes over a course of time, you know, every, the past definitely informs where you're, where you're going in the future. Yeah, but maybe that feeling, uh, the feeling of being more at ease also came forward out of that you were, you have grown as musicians as, as well. Absolutely. Think. Well, you know, we tour a lot, you know, and we are, I think, definitively, first and foremost, a band, you know, and I think we always bring that experience, whether we talk about it or not, into the writing process, because, you know, you spend, uh, you know, 16, 18 months on the road, you know, playing your whole body of work. You know, it does, it makes you better, yeah. you know, and then, you know, different experiences along the way, you know, with Paul, solo project and, you know, the project I, you know, kind of delve into um, over the past couple of years, that, that informs a lot as well.